my name is Piper Phillips, um, I use she, her pronouns, and I am the co-projections designer for Into the Woods. So the projections designer is ultimately responsible for creating video content that goes on the stage as part of the storytelling of a particular production, often working in collaboration with the scenic designer, the sound designer, the lighting designer, and the director to help add to the story and create a cohesive vision. And that involves both the creation of content as well as doing drafting and math and measurements to make sure that you can physically project in the space. Into the Woods is a really fascinating show to do projections for because it's all fantasy and magic, so there's a lot to work with there. The two things that I'm really looking forward to seeing, mostly because I built them and spent a lot of time doing it, is there's a scene where, two scenes where a beanstalk grows on stage, and I built that. And then there's also a pretty cool moment where the wolf who eats Little Red Riding Hood and her grandmother is killed and they come out and there's a bunch of blood and I built the splatter effect for that. So I'm looking forward to that. Projections is pretty rare at Emerson stage and that's because not every show calls for it. Um, it's also a pretty intensive process to get done. So usually we start in the same way any other designer would, which is doing conceptual research and having conversations with the director and the other designers about what story and what visual story we want the projections to tell in themselves. And then there's also a technical element to it. So we draft and research and plan what projectors we're gonna use, where they're gonna hit, what that storytelling moment is with where they're going, and then also collaborating with, in particular, the scenic designer to make sure that there's a surface for us to project on. And from that point forward, we work much like a lighting or sound designer would, where our tech process is about queuing and figuring out what the show is gonna look like in the space until we have a cohesive vision that we believe tells the story that we're trying to tell. Projections in the Madge in particular can be really complicated because the building is from 1903, which means it's not intended to have most of the modern technology that we have in it, much less big heavy projectors that have to go in tedious places so that they can work. There's also the fact that Into the Woods is massive as a show. Um, the script is really, really big. There's a lot of different storylines and it's very much something that needs to be focused on is like, telling one story through a lot of different stories, which is both something that the actors and all the other designers have been working on, but for us, making sure we sort of have a unifying visual aesthetic. But there's been a lot of excitement for both myself and for the folks who worked on Marie Antoinette, which was the last show with projections, to get this program up and going. There's definitely a lot of excitement at Emerson about doing projections in large part because it's really new, really cool technology and it's been a really cool opportunity to get to work on this. Into the Woods is gonna be performed in the Cutler Majestic Theater April 14th through 16th, and I hope to see you and all of my projections there.